Great timing, Kiryu-san. You got a second? Yeah, I can stick around for a drink. Nah, that's not why I asked. <clears throat> I'm having a little get-together over at my place. Gonna treat those Liumong boys to some grub. You remember that blogger who'd been bad-mouthing me? I figured they'd deserve a reward for not offing him. Oh, good for them. Yep. You wanna tag along, Kiryu-san? Are you sure? I wouldn't want to get between you and your boys. Oh yeah, I'm sure. It's about damn time I get to serve the legend himself a meal. If you insist. No way I can turn you down now. Now we're talking. Thanks for inviting us, Zao-san. You're cooking so good, I starved myself all day just so I can eat more of it. Thanks for having us here, sir. Mm, I stick out like a sore thumb here. <laughs> it's all good. We're just here to eat good food. Hey. Guys, over there. Hmm? Wait, wait, hold up. Yo, look who we have here. This guy's snooping on us. Who the hell? Hey, it's him. The blogger. This doesn't look good, Kitty son. Is he really the guy behind the blog? Yep, sure seems like it. Spill it! What the hell are you doing here? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Am I being abducted? Please, let me go. What's all this about? This guy's been trying to start shooting Zhao San's restaurant again. Looks like he came all the way here just to look for more dirt. Is there a problem with that? What's wrong with saying a place has bad food? I have the right to free speech, you know. Gotta say, I'm impressed you got the balls to speak up with all of us here. What should we do with him, Zhao San? Want us to rough him up a bit? Ah, do you even hear yourself? Come on now, you can't do that to a civvy. He's right, you know. The guy's free to post whatever he wants on his blog. Huh, you can't fool me. You're the one behind the Yokohama Liumang. Huh? Oh yeah, I know all about it. You sent your men looking for me all over Ijincho, didn't you? When I heard that gangsters were hunting me down, I decided to look into you too. You're their boss, aren't you? Their former leader? You act like you're not involved in any of this, but you'll sick your dogs on me later. <laughs> oh, now, now. I think you've got the wrong idea. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Ain't that right, boys? Since we're all here, why don't we settle down and have a bite? I've already finished prepping. So, how about it, fellas? Anyway, we're gonna have ourselves a party. So, don't mind us. We'll leave you alone. Really? Yep. Really. Wait a minute. Zhao San! If we let him off, then he might write about all this on his blog just for the hell of it. We gotta take that dude's phone away first. What? No, absolutely not! You can't do that! The fact that this bastard came here knowing Zhao San's our boss. Oh, no doubt he's screwing with us. Probably thinks we can't do a damn thing. <laughs> well, no way. He's only got a bone to pick with me. Come on, boys, let him go. We can't! If he's picking a fight with you, that means he's picking a fight with all of us! Zhao San, you might have left us behind. We still respect you, even now. You keep acting like a pushover, so now some blogger thinks he can mess with us! That's right. You even tossed us aside. Gave up the Liumang to Komijo. We can't even get things done like how we used to because of this cooperation bullshit to appease a Jincho. Sorry, but if you're not happy with how I run things, then like I said before, go hit the road! Not happening, boss. We all looked up to you. We thought that if we stuck by you, we could be more like you. Normally, you look laid back, relaxed. But when the situation calls for it, you're ruthless, reliable, a charismatic leader. At least, you were. It's time you wake up, boss. The Tianyo Zhao I know would never let some random blogger off for talking shit. 
First, we ought to splatter his guts all over the streets. Let the whole town know that Yokohama Liumang's back. I told you that I'd close up shop if anything happened to him. And I fucking meant it. But boss, that'd be for the better, right? Wouldn't have to be some chef if he came back. Quit being some chef. Yeah, Zhao san. Uh, no, I mean, <clears throat> boss. Our leader. Let's give him hell, boss. Stay behind me. <laughs> no way. Am I going to die here? All right, fine. I get how you guys feel. You do? Then you'll come back? Nope. I'm not letting you boys lay a finger on this guy. You want him? You gotta get through me. They're just as feisty as you said they'd be. Sorry for dragging you into this, Kiryu-san. You mind taking that blogger somewhere safe? I'll stop these guys. Wait, Zao-san, are you serious? You'll take us on? All to protect someone like him? Even though we're the ones who have always believed in you? I'll do anything to protect my restaurant. After all, I'm just some chef. All right, fine. Have it your way, then. Quit screwing with us, you damn wuss! Need a hand? These guys are called the Four Beasts, right? We don't want you to bite off more than you can chew. What? You don't think I can handle it? Cause I'm absolutely starving right now. Bring it on. Here we go. Time to shut it down. Feel the heat! We have a winner. Sweet! Still as strong as ever, boss. Please, come back. You'll just waste away here. Look, I'm real touched you think so. But if I went back to being your leader, Eugene Cho will be split apart again. I promised Sunny that wouldn't happen ever again and left everything in her hands. But we've always looked up to you. Still do. If you do make a comeback, we'll follow you to hell and back. That's so. Hey, humor me for a second. Y yes sir, what is it? This Tianyo Zhao you've always admired. Is he the sort of guy who doesn't honor his promises? Is that what you guys think of me? A man who doesn't keep his word? Uh, um, no, sir. Not at all. <laughs> Good. Glad to hear it. Hey. Yes? What do you want? You saw what happened just now, right? Thus you don't get involved with them any further. I'm sure you felt safe and secure over the internet. But here, you were only safe thanks to Zhao. I'm so sorry, Xiao-san. I'll delete everything I posted about your restaurant. I won't ever come near here again. So please, forgive me for what I've done. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No need to delete anything. Huh? I just want to ask you a question. And you ate at my restaurant. Was my cooking really that bad? Uh, actually, it didn't taste awful at all. Hmm? I'll be honest with you. Your food is the best damn thing I've ever tasted in my entire life! Uh, come again? 
Nothing in Chinatown could even come close. I wanted to use every word in my vocabulary to praise your cooking on my blog. I thought maybe I could spread the word, share your food with everyone. So much so that I felt like I was on fire. But when you suddenly told me to refrain from filming inside your restaurant, the descriptions I had drafted in my head just fizzled out. That really upset me. And before I knew it... You flung your chopsticks down? I really am sorry about that. I don't know what came over me. Even though I've been wanting to compliment you, I kept thinking that you humiliated me in your shop. In the end, hatred sprung from your love. So that's the whole story. In that case, sorry. But I can't let you go home. Huh? Um, what do you mean by that? Hey, Zhao, what are you planning? <laughs> now, go ahead and eat your fill. You're gonna recall each and every single word of praise that came to your head that day. But... But are you sure you want to treat me to all this food? Well, you were pretty spot on when critiquing other places. Now I want to know what you really think. And not anyone else. I, I don't know what to say, Xiao San. This is the first time anyone's ever told me that. No way I'm wasting this opportunity. Bon appetit! Dig in. Mmm. Oh. Wow, this is delicious! Mm, damn! Tasty! Zhao, are you sure this guy's the real deal? All he said so far is that he loves the food and that it's damn tasty. <laughs> Aren't those the best compliments a chef could hear? There's more where that came from. You better savor it all. Woohoo! This is the best day ever, Xiao San. Everything tastes so good. I can't stop eating. My bad, Kitty San. Didn't mean to drag you into that old mess. But you did. Missed out on my free meal because of you. At least that blogger looked like he enjoyed himself. The man ate everything you put in front of him. Huh? Back up a sec, Kiryu-san. You didn't get to taste my cooking... at all? Pretty much. Surprisingly. <laughs> well, there'll always be another chance. We're drinking buddies now, aren't we? Yeah, that's true. But after seeing you fight earlier, I can understand why your boys want you back. You've got a knack for being a leader. Does seem like a waste of talent. Oh yeah, maybe. But all my life I was taught how to lead others. For as long as I can remember, I was told it was my birthright. Then one day I inherited everything from my dad. And now that I've left that all behind, a new world opened up to me. There's no way I'm letting that go. Not without a fight. Being a chef means the world to you. Yep. There were a ton of possibilities, but the only one that mattered was the one I chose. I think I get it. Tossing a walk over a roaring flame, seeing the customers smile after eating my food. Everything's so fresh and new. I really dig the way things are right now. And not only that, but if I can knock back drinks with a buddy from time to time, I'll be set for life. Sounds good to me. A humble life's not so bad.
<laughs> pretty bold of you. They didn't stand a chance. Learning more every day. Oh, good. I assume you're ready to go. Hmm. I'm prepared. All right. Our guest this time came all the way from Kyushu. Chief Nakajima of Nagasu Taxi. Chief Nakajima. He looked after you during your stint as a cab driver back in Fukuoka, didn't he? Hey, what's up? You remember him, right? Don't tell me I wasted my time calling him here. You didn't. Besides, I wouldn't be that ungrateful. It's just... I never thought I'd see him again. Chief Nakajima was about the only civilian I spent a lot of time with. You tried running from your past back then, too, didn't you? Even went by the alias Taichi Suzuki and everything. Trouble always finds you somehow. In the past and even now. You said you called a chief here? How was he? He must be getting along in years now. Did he seem well? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you go see for yourself? What? Did something bad happen to him? Hmm. Oh, good heavens, I can't drink that much. <laughs> well, ain't this a pickle? Oh, come on, Mr. Chief, don't be shy. Today's a special treat, isn't it? Well, you ain't wrong there. <laughs> Speaking of which, Date-san's not here yet. W I wonder what's taking him. This ain't a scam, right? You're not gonna rip me off. Don't worry. Date-san gave me a rundown. That man's a real detective, you know. Date-san, what was with that ominous look earlier? <laughs> well, as you can see, he's doing great. Figure it'd make you appreciate the reunion more. Cab company's not exactly doing well. But the Chief does everything he can to keep it going. That's great. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Thought so. Wait. Date-san, you've never met Chief Nakajima before, right? How did you even get him to come all the way here? Well, I might have abused a bit of my police authority. Told him that I wanted to ask him about his former employee, Taichi Suzuki. What? Also told him it was a personal investigation, and that we couldn't talk over the phone since the higher-ups don't know about it. I asked if he could come to Yokohama instead. You do know how suspicious that sounds, right? I'm surprised the chief fell for that. I offered to cover his travel expenses, so it's basically a paid vacation. His drinks at this club are even on me. Oh, don't give me that look, man! What? I was just worried about you. You're always coming up with all these lies for me. I thought I told you this before. I'm only doing all this because I want to. Don't sweat it. Ten years ago, he told me himself to come back and work for him again, no matter what. He gave me a hand when I hit rock bottom, and I was never able to thank him for that. Got it. Guess it'll be on me to tell him all of that. <laughs> this place sure is a riot. Hey. Maybe I ought to move to Yokohama myself. Wow, would you really? Then you could come visit me every day. I'll be here waiting. <laughs> Boy, I do that and I'll be broke in no time. Oh. Pleasure meeting you, Chief Nakajima. I'm Date. You been enjoying yourself? Oh, gosh darn it, I'm sorry. Got a little carried away there. Nearly forgot I was meeting up with you, Mr. Detective. No need for the formalities. Thanks for coming all the way here. Mind if I take a seat? Oh, no, not at all. Please do. Still, to think Suzuki-san's name would come up again. But like I told you on the phone, the last I saw Suzuki-san was ten years ago. How's that even gonna help the police? Well... Truth be told, I knew Suzuki personally outside my work as a detective. 
Honestly, I just wanted to have a drink with someone else who knew him. Sorry for making a fuss out of this, Chief. Oh, no, no, it's fine. You even paid for me to travel here and all. Besides, I feel the same way about Suzuki-san. Wasn't one for words, but I could never forget him. Just that kind of fella, you know. So what happened? Did Suzuki-san cause some kind of incident? He ain't getting arrested, is he? Huh? No, I'm not going to arrest him. See, Suzuki's been dead for a few years now. Huh? Come again? You ain't pulling my leg or nothing. You didn't know? No, not at all. I had no clue. So that's what happened to Suzuki-san? I can't believe my ears. He was always so serious, a real dedicated fella. Hey, something doesn't seem to be adding up here. Just double checking. You were aware that Taichi Suzuki was a fake name, right? A fake name? Nah, ain't no way. That doesn't sound right, no sorry. Uh-huh. Okay then, why don't you settle down and hear me out? Taichi Suzuki was a fake name. His real name was Kazumu Kiryu, a Yakuza from the Tojo clan, known as the Dragon of Dojima. You're talking about the same Suzuki-san? Ah, that's gotta be a lie. Some big mistake. You ever consider that the Suzuki-san I know and the Suzuki-san you know are two different people? Fine then. So that's how you want to play. Then explain this. Take a good look at this photo. This guy looks real familiar, doesn't he? Perhaps you've seen this on TV before. You're looking at Kazuma Kiryu. Shortly after this footage aired, he was sent to prison, then lost his life in Hiroshima. Frankly, that don't sound like the Suzuki-san I know. What, really? Guess I should have looked into your story more carefully before coming all the way out here. If I had known we were talking about two different people, I wouldn't have let you pay for my whole trip. Now hold on, sir. What's with the act? Huh? We both know for a fact that Kiryu went by Suzuki in Kyushu. So why are you pretending you don't know him? Well, I ain't pretending. There was just a little mix-up. Sorry, my mistake. I'll even pay for my own drinks, too. Take care now! No, wait. Please. I think we're done here. Besides, I ought to get going. Let go! What has gotten into you? Nothing. You're just being a bother. Wait, please. Hey, stop right there, sir. Ooh, what's going on? Why all the yelling? Judging by the way you wanted to run from me, I think I get what's going on. Huh? What about? You probably did come here to talk about Taichi Suzuki, and maybe squeeze in some sightseeing on the side. But with how you're acting, I'm guessing you saw this recently. Oh, that's, uh... Your plans changed when this video started going around. Suddenly, rumors that Kazuma Kiryu is still alive and kicking spread all over the internet, despite his supposed death. Word got to you too, didn't it? Right after you agreed to meet with me here. I don't know a thing about that. What's going on? If Kazuma Kiryu really is alive and in hiding, then you wouldn't want to tip off the police. Even a minor detail about his past runs the risk of endangering him. Long story short, you don't want to sell your friend out to the police. But after coming all the way to Yokohama, it looked just as suspicious to cancel our meeting. Uh... It all makes sense now. That's why you're trying to act like you don't know Kazuma Kiryu. You got the wrong idea. That's completely off. Where you're coming from, you probably aren't too sure if I really am Kiryu's friend. In that case, It'd be best for you to say I've got the wrong guy.
keep mum and leave your seat. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Chief Nakajima, this has all been one huge misunderstanding. Huh? Neither Tokyo PD nor the Fukuoka police knew that Kiryu had been employed at Nagasu Taxi. Have you ever gotten a call from the police asking after him? I'm positive you haven't, because I'm the only one who knows about your connection to Kiryu. After all, I heard all of this from the man himself. In fact, he even told me about the first time you two met. He helped out a woman who was being harassed, but let himself get beat up in the process. At the time, he had nowhere to go since he had to cover up his history with the Akaza. He nearly gave up on life. That's when you entered the picture. You took him on and hired him as a taxi driver. That guy's known as the legendary Yakuza. You think he'd crack in the interrogation room? I heard all of this straight from the horse's mouth. I may not know what's going on in his head, but I consider him my best friend. Date-san. Well, that sure explains a whole lot. Guess it can't hurt to trust you then. <laughs> How about we turn back the clock? Start fresh, take it from the top. <laughs> Works for me. I found out that Suzuki-san was actually Kazuma Kiryu from the news. Saw him in that Yakuza scuffle up in Kamurocho. Must have been a little while after he left our place. All his old co-workers were pretty shaken up, me included. Sure, I knew he was no run-of-the-mill guy, but I never thought he'd be THE legendary Yakuza. Also, just between us, a lot of my employees are hiding scars because of something or other in the past. Same goes for me, too, so I was never ever gonna rat out Kiryu-san to the police. But the moment I told myself that, news got out about Kazuma Kiryu dying somewhere in Hiroshima. That must have been shocking. Of course it was. But now, what the heck even was that video? I can't make heads or tails of nothing no more. You know something, don't you, Date-san? Is Kazuma Kiryu, is Suzuki-san still alive? Please, Date-san. Well, I guess it wouldn't be right if I just lied to your face after unraveling all that, so... I'm just gonna say, no comment. No comment? <laughs> That's not enough for you? <laughs> That's great. Real great. Just what I needed to hear. You know, you're a lot like Suzuki-san. No tact, no skill of lying, and a good man. This coming from you, you're just as bad at lying. <laughs> you got me there. After getting to know you, Chief, I think I get why he wanted me to pass on a message. Huh? When the two of you first met, he had just drifted all the way to Kyushu in order to protect his loved ones from his own past. That was the lowest point in Kiryu's life, in a place with no one he knew, with no one to turn to with no one to talk to or depend on, until you showed up and lent him the hand he needed. Mm-hmm. Words can't describe how indebted he feels to you. Still does, to this day. Ha, that's so. And I got something to say to him, too. And what's that? The last time I saw Suzuki-san, I left him with these words. You're part of the family now, Suzuki-san. Just be sure to come back to us, no matter what. Hmm. I still stand by those words today. So if you ever find yourself in trouble, you'll always have a home with us. I'll be waiting for you back in Kyushu. So just remember, you're never alone. Think you could tell him all that for me, Date-san? Ah. <laughs> Thanks again, Date-san. Got to wrap up some unfinished business there. 
Now the Chief finally knows how much I appreciated him. There's nothing more I can do now. Come on, don't be like that. All right, that reminds me. You said I was your best friend? No, I, I mean, I was just trying to, well, you know, earn the Chief's trust. I had to. Your words really cut me to the core. They were comforting in a way, especially in these times. Could you not take back what you said? Yeah, of course. Hey, you want to hug it out? I'm not drunk enough for that. Yeah, figured. And a chance. Strong. Hello? Dante here, Kiryu. If you have time, Come to Harbor Light, will you? Sure, understood. I'll be there. Hmm. Something the matter? No, I just figured maybe I ought to give you a heads up first. See, Sayama's in town. Sayama? Karu Sayama? The one and only. She gave me a call not too long ago. You up for it? <sighs> yeah, thought so. But honestly, you should go. You guys went through thick and thin together, right? Least you could do is see how she's doing. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for dumping this on you. I didn't know till just now either. So, mind cutting me some slack? Actually, I appreciate it. See you later then. Oh, good to see you, Kiryu. Are you set? I'd like to take you somewhere. I assume you're ready to go? Hmm. I'm prepared. Great. And let's get going. When was the last time you saw Sayama, anyway? When I moved to Okinawa, so that'd be... a little over 15 years now. We first met in 2006. To think it's been 17 years. Kaoru Sayama, a former detective in the Osaka police, and the ace of Division 4, the Anti-Yakuza Task Force. We partnered together for a certain incident regarding the Tojo clan. And then... As the bomb kept ticking down, I decided to spend the last moments of my life with this incredible woman. Damn, 15 years? I haven't seen her for a while either, but nowhere near as long as that. Earlier, she said she's here on business, asked me if I wanted to catch up and all. I'm something of a big shot at work, you know. What's with the big talk? 
Nobody else would listen to me brag. Well, it might have been 15 years, but Siam is as sharp as ever. There's a chance she'll spot you at a distance, so we better play it safe. I don't know. There is also a chance she's forgotten all about me. You're hopeless. Here, take these. Wireless earphones and mic. We usually use them during investigations, but I'll loan these to you. That way, you can listen in on the conversation, and I'll be able to hear what you have to say, too. Come on, let's get moving. She hasn't changed one bit. You look busy, as usual. How long are you here for? <laughs> I'll be leaving the day after tomorrow. How's Tommy Osan doing? She's great. Mama's been manning the bar every night. I think she's doing even better than me. Glad to hear it. Best you spend time with family while you can. That's certainly true. But still, it's been a long time. About six, seven years or so, right? The last time we spoke was when you called me about Kazuma's passing, I believe. Right. Sorry for dropping that bombshell back then. It's fine. I'm sure I would have heard about it sooner or later. After all, he was quite infamous among the police. <laughs> no kidding. His name always popped up whenever something big happened. You got any guys that buy into the whole Kazuma Kiryu hidden mastermind conspiracy? We do, yes. Kazuma Kiryu is actually still alive. He's been pulling the strings behind society as we speak. Hmm. Those rumors, right? <laughs> what kind of officer would say that? It's complete nonsense. Well, I guess that means his legacy was that impactful. Can't blame folks for making him into some urban legend, especially if they never knew him. I suppose so. <sighs> But to think he's gone, even now, I still can't fathom it. <sighs> How can someone as tough as him just die? How? When I've seen him cheat death time after time. Unbelievable, right? He was one stubborn son of a gun. He really was. Still married to the job? Pretty much. Heard you transferred to the juvenile division. That was news to me. Shocking, right? Some career path. But you requested to transfer, right? There a reason for that? There is, actually. It's all because of the dissolution. The Great Dissolution? Yeah. Remember how Daigo Dojima and other big names started a security company after all that went down? It was a haven for former Yakuza. Right. I figured if Kazuma were still alive, he would have lent them a hand. That man is practically the icon of the old Yakuza and all. I'm sure he would have taken it upon himself to clean up after them, too. Hmm. And if they were in charge of the cleanup, then as a cop, I could work on prevention. At least that's what I thought. In other words, you're trying to prevent kids from becoming petty criminals or joining the Yakuza. Hence the transfer. Right you are. It's tougher than I thought, but it's rewarding work. And that way you could feel connected to Kiryu. <laughs> That's one way to put it. I wanted to sound cool, that is. But yeah, that's why I'm bent on pursuing my new dreams. And that's why I want to keep doing what I can, but... Maybe a part of me is still waiting for him. Hmm. Aren't I just so faithful? <sighs> Sayama, look, the truth is... Don't, Dante-san. Uh, it's fine. <sighs> uh, something wrong? Uh, no, you're just... You're just way too good for him.
Thanks for that, Date-san. Seems I was a luckier man than I thought. Seriously? You're telling me. You sure you don't want to tell her anything? I'm sure. As long as she's got a dream to chase. She's better off without me around. That's the hardest pill to swallow. But you know what, Kiryu? What? You should live how you want to. If there's a woman you love, you hold on to her. Never let go. Now, I'm getting jealous just looking at you. <laughs> I guess you'd know best, considering you've gone through a divorce before. What? Low blow, man. Sorry. It was just a joke. Thanks, Date-san. <laughs> a real heartbreaker, aren't you? But I meant it. Yeah, every word. Just do what you want to do. You've got tons of folks on your side, supporting you. And don't you forget that. I won't. Picture perfect. Huge this school is. That the student council's totally drunk on power. Ugh. You read too much manga. I was friends with the head of our student council, actually. She spent most of her time negotiating budgets for clubs. Seems stressful. So in the end, they're really just middle managers. Reality never lives up to manga.
waste of my time. Come back to you Sweet! Woo. Let's keep going. Well, let's get started. Yeah, it's least. You're gonna get it. It's my turn. Something wrong. Looking for a show. Here we go. Right. What an eyesore. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Wrong opponent. Strong. <laughs> mm No time to lose. You're gonna be in a world. It's in for the kill! 
Looking for a show. Allow me. Something wrong? Try and stop me. Now then, try this on for size. On. I'll take you on. Hey, you're the follow-up. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Wasted my time. I haven't yeah, made it up yet. Strong! I think there's something over there. Doing better than I thought. <laughs> 